Hello humans, I'm Mr. King. Hello. So how iron can be extracted from the iron compound? So basically, iron it can be extracted from the iron ore okay, by using a furnace as displaced here. Okay, so the iron ore it is what we call iron trioxide, Fe2O3. Okay, and it is also called hematite. Okay. And this hematite, okay, iron trioxide, it is also added with few raw materials, like example, coke, okay, so called carbon, okay, and limestone. Okay, limestone it is also called calcium carbonate. Okay, so basically, okay, all the reaction happens in the furnace. So in order to extract iron from the iron compound, okay, so these are the six steps. Okay, that you have to remember. Okay, you have to remember every single step here. Okay, and follow by the chemical equation. Okay, see step one: hot air enters the furnace. You see, if you look at the picture here, see first air enters the furnace. Okay, why? Okay, because air will provide the furnace with car. I mean, okay, so why? So first, air enters the furnace. So why? Okay, because air will provide the furnace with oxygen. See, then followed by step two. See, coke burns in the air, producing heat. Okay, uh, with the chemical equation of coke burns in the presence of oxygen to form carbon dioxide. Okay, uh, so this is the reaction okay, where heat is produced. See, formation of carbon dioxide. Then next is the higher up. Okay, so higher up the furnace, there will be insufficient oxygen. So therefore, the carbon dioxide produced, okay, it will get reduced to carbon monoxide. So C, re carbon, reacts with carbon dioxide produced to form carbon monoxide. Okay, and of course, okay, you have to make sure that the chemical equation is a balanced equation. Okay, then you see, carbon monoxide is produced. Okay, you see, now if we refer back to step 2, you see coke burns in the air producing heat. So when heat is produced, the temperature in the furnace increases. So when the temperature increases, the limestone, it will undergo thermal decomposition. Okay, with the chemical equation of CaCO3 to form calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. See, thermal decomposition takes place. Alright. Okay, then you see, it followed by the reductions of hematite okay, by carbon monoxide producing molten iron. So, the hematite, Fe2O3, it will get reduced by the carbon monoxide produced in step 3, CO, to form molten iron and carbon dioxide. And of course, always make sure that the chemical equation is a balanced equation. So, 3, 2, 3. So this is how iron is obtained. Okay. So one more thing you see in the furnace itself, okay, there is this impurities. Okay, so remember the main impurities in the hammer type is silicon for oxide. Okay, so called the silica impurities. So in order to remove these impurities, ah, so here comes into the rows of limestone. See if you look at step four, see limestone undergoes thermal decomposition to form calcium oxide. So the calcium oxide produced, it will react with the impurities to form calcium silicate, C-A-S-I-O-3, calcium silicate. Okay, calcium silicate it is also called slag. Yeah, calcium silicate is also called slag, and slag is the waste products produced. Okay. So you see, if you notice, isn't it? So these are the two products that will get removed from the furnace. So how these two products can get separated from one another? So remember, slag, it will always float on molten iron. Okay, because slag, it has a lower density compared to molten iron. So therefore, you see, whenever you see there's products being formed, slag, it is always the top layers. Molten iron, it is always the bottom layer. So this is how molten iron can get separated from the 
waste product. These are all the chemical reactions that you have to remember. Okay, so one more tip for you guys, you see. Look at step two, the reaction between carbon and oxygen. Okay, remember, this is an example of exothermic reaction. Okay, because heat is produced. Yeah, then the reaction between carbon and carbon dioxide. This is what we call redox reaction. The reaction of limestone. Okay, this is what I call thermal decomposition. The next one. Uh, this is what we call redox as well. Okay, last one. So remember the reaction between silicon four oxide and calcium oxide. Okay, this is an example of acid base reaction. So why is it acid base? See silicon four oxide, non metal oxide. Remember, non metal oxide they are acidic oxide. Calcium oxide, metal oxide. Metal oxide they are basic oxide. See acid base. So this is an example of acid-base reaction. Alright, so you have to remember every single chemical equation here. Okay, and these are all the steps needed okay, in order to extract the iron from the hematite. Okay, here are some of the popular exam question exam. So first one, so what are the roles of carbon? So why coke is added into the hematite? Why? Okay, there are two. First is to produce heat. Remember, carbon it reacts with oxygen to form carbon dioxide, produce heat. Another it is to act as reducing agent. Okay, remember, the carbon monoxide produced is used to reduce the hematite to produce iron. Okay, so next one. So how to remove the impurities in molten iron? All right, okay, take notes about this. Remember, you see, impurities in hematite and molten iron they are different. Okay, remember, in hematite, the impurities is silicon four oxide. In molten iron, okay, which is the iron that you obtain okay, from the furnace, okay, the products that is produced. Okay, remember, the impurities in molten iron it is carbon. So how can this carbon impurities get removed from the molten iron? Okay, so first, okay, we can blow in the oxygen gas. Okay, uh, then the oxygen gas, it will react with the carbon to form carbon dioxide gas. So you see, therefore, carbon dioxide gas produced. Uh, these are the tips or these are the things that you have to take notes. Alright, hope you enjoyed this. Thanks. Remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. See you again. Bye.